hello everyone in this video i am going to show all the steps and process to install and set up link drop on your server so let's get started first step go to your server and select any domain or subdomain where you will deploy your app in my case i have selected this domain to show with you and i have already uploaded the source code as a zip file of link drop in here you can see so extract this zip file in here i am extracting okay done now you have to rename this file to make dot env okay so let's rename right. now the first step has been done the second step open a browser and browse your domain name in my case this is my domain name and i will going to browse this open a new tab just my domain name okay so you can see now we have to follow the several steps to successfully completed all the steps to set up process okay so here you can see the first step the server requirement If you see the all the requirement is blue tick mark then you can go next step next step otherwise if you see anyone is red tick mark then you have to fix then you can go the next step in my case i have already seen all this all the requirement is blue tick mark now click next step here the app application name but you can change it later from your admin dashboard so next one environment just select production environment and second one app debug mode you have to select always false app debug mode and here is the app key you can generate a new app, app, app key click the next step here you can see the database type mysql database host database code and the most important things that database name here you have to put your database name and database username and database password okay so in my case this is my database name database username and also database password check the test connection yes the database connection have been done now you can click this button here you can see we have reached the last step of installation process okay so now click the confirm button done our installation process have been done successfully just click this one you can see our application is running now successfully but our application is not ready yet for other user because we need some settings so first you need to log in as a super admin to complete other setup
okay so go to app settings here you can see the application logo then application name name copyright then application de description and it will see from intro page when you enable these settings then google login or sign up system will be enabled for your application okay and next step is smtp settings if you don't have done these settings then other user cannot register so these settings are most important for register other user because otherwise any kind of user cannot be registered in your system so you need to complete this and also this one to enable google sign up okay so now you can ask me a question that how can i get the google auth info so don't worry i will show how to get this information open a new tab then search google console then go to the google cloud console okay <coughs> then select api and services go to the credential and create new credential then select auth0 client id here you can select you have to select web application then authorization javascript origin here you have to put your app domain name okay so in my case app domain name is this one okay then second step authorization authorized to redirect url here you have to put your app domain slash this path auth slash google slash callback okay just remember this one because you have to put this url with redirect okay so now you need to click this button to create your auth0 credential but in my case i have already created a uh, auth0 credential for google sign up from this credential i will get the information and client id best click here then client secret and the google redirect url okay so redirect url we you will get inside this this path okay so enable and save changes now google authentication is enabled for our application now we have to set up this information for smtp because otherwise any kind of user cannot be registered in our system okay so let's now our application is completely ready for other other users and any kind of user can register and get the service from this application so best of luck